Hi, I'm Trish and I'm your curly coach and I'm here today to have a chat to you about curl types. Now, I know that you see lots of amazing, beautiful people on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and their hair always looks amazing. And we go out and we buy the products that they recommend and our hair never looks the same. So I wanna to chat to you about why that is. So everyone has a different curl type. Everyone's hair is a little bit different. There's so many contributing factors to what's going on in your hair and what products are gonna be best for your hair. And that's why we created Hello Curl so that you can find out what your hair actually needs. So we're gonna go through the different curl types and what they are uh, and just a very briefly go through them not super heaps of information because there will be specific information for your curl type in all of our tutorials. So if you're looking for something specific, make sure that you go through and you know what your curl type is <laughs> so that you will actually know what's going to be best for you. Are you ready? Here we go. So we've got 2A. 2A curl types, or we call them swavies or wavies, are more of a wave. So it's more of an S rather than a curl. So it looks a little bit more wavy and products that you use in your hair are a little bit different or quite different to very curly hair. So the reason being is your hair can drop out really super easily. So when it's wavy and wet, it looks great, but by the time it dries, it tends to go a little bit fluffy and limp. So the products that we use in your hair are quite light, so they don't weigh the hair down. Then we've got 2B. 2B is very similar to 2A. It is also more of your S and more of your waves. Again, it does tend to drop out a little bit more easily, so we tend to use less heavy products in your hair. We don't tend to leave a lot of conditioner in your hair because it weighs it down. You'll find that your hair tends to go a little bit oily, especially around the root area, and you really do struggle to get volume. We all want volume. Then we go on to your 2C. 2C, 2C. So 2C is more, you get a wave and you're starting to get a bigger curl, okay? So you won't find that they're super mega tight, but they're bigger sort of curls. They're starting to curl a little bit more and you might find that you'll get a little more of that sort of happening underneath your hair. So we start to get a little bit heavier with your products, I still, think that you need to shampoo your hair because you'll still find you get a little bit oily through your roots. So I would say that maybe a light leave in conditioner through those ends would be great, but not through the roots because you'll look too heavy and really oily. So I would say a mousse or a light gel would be fantastic for your hair, but we'll get to that. Then we go into our threes, three A. Three A's tend to get a little bit more curly. So you'll find that products are, we need to sort of get a little bit heavier with our products. And you'll find that your hair tends to frizz a little bit easier. So you'll find that your curls will look beautiful when they're wet, and then as they dry, they tend to fluff a little bit more. So we need to be a little bit more heavy handed on leaving in some conditioner in that hair of yours. A leave-in conditioner or leaving in conditioner can be great. We still need to shampoo our scalp though. It doesn't have to be as often as our two A's, but we do need to do it at least once a week. Really important. So a gel would be fantastic for your hair. I would recommend using a gel on there. Then we go into our three B's. Three B's are getting a little bit tighter which is absolutely gorgeous, half your luck. Wish I had a bit more of that. <laughs> so I would say for you, you will definitely need to be leaving in some conditioner in your hair. You'll find that your hair fuzzes quite easily and you find that uh, you, you're a bit more springy in your curls. Sometimes if, if say for instance, you've had a, a, some bangs or fringe cut, it can bounce up lots. So what happens is weight in your hair is probably a little bit better than cutting it really super short because you'll find it'll bounce very, very easily. So a gel is great for you. You can go a little bit heavy handed and a curl cream might be something that you can incorporate, especially when you're coming into your summer months where it is a little bit drier. 
Then we're gonna move on to our 3C. 3C is beautiful. Oh, you're lucky if you've got a 3C. <laughs> you have got absolutely gorgeous curls, but you'll find that you get a bit of shrinkage in your curls. So shrinkage is when it becomes super quite tight and it shrinks up really easily. So growing your hair can be a bit of a bugger because it never feels like it's growing because it always sprouts up. So we tend to find that our three C's don't like diffusing their hair too much because they get too much shrinkage and the hair tends to be quite dry. So adding in a deep conditioner into your, um, a treatment into your reg regime is really super important important because it means that your curls are going to be super hydrated. Now gels are still really important for you but you might find that the gel might be too heavy and you might go back to a mousse. So I would say that you should be using maybe a curl cream on your hair and a mousse or a curl cream and a gel. So layering products for a 3C is amazing. Then we go into our fours. We have 4A, 4B and 4C. So if you're in the fours, you will know that frizz can be quite a big thing. Unfortunately, it is just one of those things when we're going into the fours that frizz comes part of it. Reason being is the curls are so very tight. So what happens is we tend to find with the fours that it becomes very, Shrinkage is a really big thing. It gets very short. You never feel like your hair grows past your shoulders and you always feel like it needs moisture, 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 moisture. And it does because what happens is your curls are so tight and has so many little bends in there that it tends to get quite brittle. So the, the four curls are the most brittle of the curls. The reason being is in every single little bend of these curls, it becomes a bit snappy, okay? Because the curls are so tight, the bends are so tight, and that's why the hair can break very easily. So we need to be very super gentle on any of the floors. And one big thing that we do have to be a little bit careful, especially when we're going into floor C, is staying away from protein, okay? Protein and level fours are not the best of friends. They don't really love it, and the reason being is that your cuticle, cuticle, is actually very tight. What is a cuticle? A cuticle is like little scales on a roof, like almost tiles, and they are all on top of each other, and one strand of hair. And what happens is they're so tight that they can't let in too much moisture. So what happens is they get super mega dry because the moisture can't get into the hair. So when we put protein on there, it can actually make it drier and do the opposite. So moisture is a type four's best friend. And you can add some gel, but curl creams are very important when it comes to your type four curl and even maybe just a light mousse rather than using really heavy gels because you'll find that they just you just feel like you're a two minute noodle. You really will. <laughs> so I hope this has been a great help to understand your curl type a little bit more. And if you're looking for specific information on your curl type, make sure that you have a look at our tutorials and you do the quiz or take the quiz even, <laughs> and you will find out what curl type you are and your porosity and what products are gonna best suit your hair. Good luck and I can't wait to help you on your curly journey. Have a